Yo yo, welcome Thanks, everyone Jack. to a brand new video and today yeah, it's awesome. time for another WR race and we're racing around Austria as you can see and um, this is Q1 unfortunately last race we got a penalty for the incident with Shinarka so uh, we dropped out of the points and that means the last three races we've done, we haven't scored any points, so that's quite painful. Um, but anyway, as you can see, it's uh, very close here. Uh, because at the start of this qualifying session, it was raining and now it's drying up. So it's very tricky conditions. This is the first lap we're doing in this qualifying. As you can see, a big mistake there in turn one. And that costs us a lot of time. So we need a very good lap in order to still make it uh, to Q2 um, yeah very tricky conditions uh, at the start some people went out on inters to do some laps uh, I decided to stay in ho and then hoping it was completely dry but uh, it still was raining missed the apex there a little bit and now up to the double left hander fifth gear for the first one especially in these tricky conditions and now um, no purple sectors and missing the apex again so um, we need an insane final two corners in order to make it sixth gear for this right hander and then fifth gear for this final right hander that one was quite good and now we're going across the line and it's around four and a half tenths of p1 and now we're dropping oh, dropping and it's uh, B16. <coughs> Great. So, Again. that was um, quite painful. Uh, as you can see, we, we, we needed around uh, one and a half tenths to, to make it. And uh, the mistake we made in turn one was already two and a half tenths. So, um, yeah, no idea. This is uh, the qualifying in Q3, so Baryon Pole. And um, yeah, let's get into the race. Right, good luck. Here we are then Jeez. at the start of the race. And as you can see, we are yep. going to start on the hard tires. And it is going to be a full dry race. As you can see on the left hand side, there's an alpha uh, starting on medium. So uh, we will see okay. different strategies in this race. But for now, P16, the lights are on. There are five red lights. And away we go, and it seems like a start is alright, no real pressure from behind, only the Alpha Tauri there, from Mr. Van Pukki, so now straight away, we are gonna try and make some moves, you saw something flying there on the left hand side, so that means someone has damage, uh, not sure who it is at this point, but there you can see Nesta oh, Martin on the right wing. side, backing off, that's Thomas Gal, and he has front wing damage, we're going down the inside there, of Joshi Dou, and trying to make a move, but... Um, couldn't quite do it and there's Jack West and he got disqualified in qualifying so he was very frustrated so I didn't want to be too aggressive with him because um, yeah very likely he will take you out and himself or whatever so uh, we just let him go uh, and we were kind of stuck there anyway um, so now he's gonna get past Josh as well so he's having a very good start so far Josh getting a bit wiggly on the exit there and now we're gonna try and go past him here and he doesn't really defend so that was a quite easy pass for us there so now up to p15 go p15 we go one jack killed him for me so uh, we made one position and now in lap two uh, one corner ahead again we're gonna go down the inside and I already said it on, on stream earlier <laughs> turn three uh, it's very easy to make moves uh, in, ra in, uh, going down in the, in the race here, as everyone is going very slow uh, in that corner, especially in the train in the early, um, uh, early on in the race. Medium now you can see Jack West uh, glitching behind me there, I'll so be. he was having some internet problems, uh, but that means a very easy pass for us here. What a move on Jack. So up to P14 we go, and now in lap 4, I think it's Jack again right behind us, 
and he is gonna try and go for movers we're gonna use our battery because we don't want to lose a position uh, here and now actually break quite late and get it down the side of Reese and that was not planned uh, I did not want to make a move on him but yeah I just ended up being side by side with him so that was uh, a good move anyway. That was an accident. <coughs> that overtake. As you can hear me say there, that was an accident. Um, but yeah, uh, here he comes. Now he's going to use his battery. We're going to defend the inside. Uh, but he still gets it down the inside there. Touches us quite hard there. But what is that? Um, we managed to stay ahead of him. Uh, we are quite low on ERS though, so we have to be careful with that. Now he's going to try and go around the outside. Uh, we break quite late. Keep the inside there. And now Jack West is alongside, so that's a good sign for us, so they can start battling now. And that will hopefully slow them down a bit, so I have a bit more space behind me. Uh, and start saving some battery again. Now you can see them battling. Actually, Jack West got past him. Uh, so now lap 6. Um, we are right behind Total Jeez. Punch. You can see how slow we are going through that corner. I had to almost stand, stand still, still there uh, in in that corner. So I um, have to be very careful with that. Start pushing him on. Yep. And now Engineer Tai says, can start pushing if I want. You don't have to say that twice. So. Um, we're gonna use our battery now, we've fully recharged it so and it's good. quite easy to <laughs> save uh, battery around this track. Uh, so that's nice and now you can see up ahead as well Ike Baena and Tomic Parachis are battling quite hard there. So hopefully they are using a bit of their battery and that makes it easy for us later on uh, to make a move on one of them. What's the CRS? Uh, 40% now. So, Tomek Parach is on 40% in the ERS, so we're straight away going to put some pressure on him. And just try and let him use even more ERS here. Just to make it easier later on to get past him, because... As oh. we take our first warning there. But just because if he's already around 30% ERS, you don't want to use a lot more ERS early on uh, in this race. So now, as you can see on the exit, uh, we used a little bit of our ERS and now we are preparing to go down the inside. As you can see, we're going down the inside, hit the apex, go a bit wide. He is um, so uh -oh. But anyway, we are uh, going to get past him here. Uh, he's not using his battery anymore. Um, so yeah, quite easy pass uh, for us there. Now lap 15, you can see the first person. Uh, the first driver going into the pits there um, so I expect more people to go in now because um, there were around six cars ahead of me who were on medium so they're probably doing medium hard uh, in this race so now we're gonna try and make a move on Icobiana use a little bit of our ERS there just to get close and now he's not defending so we're going down the inside again uh, get it alongside and there is uh, Daniel so that makes it very hard for Ico to keep it around the outside there and I'm straight away gonna put a little bit of pressure again uh, just because we already have the battery uh, to do so and also uh, Daniel was battling Three, with other five, people nine. quite hard uh, as he's boxing yeah. already so we're gonna go around the outside there and that's always uh, tricky around this track um, when people out of you are boxing uh, but uh, we didn't touch him or anything so that was good and uh, now we're right behind Shanaka Clay and also Jarn Wopmeer uh, in P3 so we're actually in the leading train basically uh, of the hard runners um, in P5 so we've done a pretty good job okay. here as we got what? a warning and no, we take another warning. warning there and yeah that was Obviously, just one warning as we just went off the track and we got two warnings there. Um, so yeah, we can get that removed as long as we don't get another warning in this race. As Jarno goes into the box already, so Shanika ahead of me has to push but a little bit now um, yeah. to stay within uh, the batch uh, into uh, the DRS. 
But yeah, uh, engineer Ty said that we're gonna box this lap, and the same goes for all the cars. That if you go a little bit wide and almost <laughs> went over the white line there, so it was very close. And now we're gonna break very late, as you can see. <laughs> but we didn't Sh make okay. any contact with anyone. Um, it was a bit risky, I think. Uh, but we definitely oh gained some time oh, uh, breaking that late uh, into the, the pit uh, there. Alright, <coughs> <coughs> yep. As there are many people <coughs> getting past us now. And you can see in the top left we've dropped to P13. And then I think there's only. <coughs> And I think there's only one driver who has to box. And now, as you can see, we're on P12. Um, so now it's just battling from here on. There are 10 laps to go. And as you can see, there's Daniel right ahead of us. And he went lap 17. So we have three lap fresher tires. We're Daniel looking down the inside. We can't really make the move there. Um, as he blocks it off nicely. And now he's defending the inside. We're going to try and go around the outside in uh, to this left hand there. And as you can see, he wasn't really fighting it too hard, so that was uh, quite an easy pass there. And now you can see Shanika putting pressure on Iker. Iker just lets him go, so hopefully uh, he won't make it too hard for us as well. Um, but yeah, so this has an opportunity, using our battery. And we're going down the inside, because usually people don't really expect that. Uh, once you're already on the inside. Um, it should be quite easy to keep it as there's just less traction on the outside on, the, on exit there on the curb Absolutely. now just be careful that he's not gonna send it back down your side so we're gonna go slightly defensive uh, and up to P10 we go and now it's Patrick Sheeples and he's on the hard tires as well so that should be uh, not too hard to uh, get past him as well at some point Patrick on 5 left all the tires as you could hear Ty say there, Patrick of 5 lap all the tires, so uh, we should be able to uh, get past him, but as you can see he's battling it very hard, uh, he's fighting very hard with Shanaka, but luckily we could um, just follow Shanaka through here and don't really lose any time uh, with that. And now again, uh, Patrick behind me is, is uh, defending and ahead of me someone is uh, making moves. So we're in a very good position and now it's Otis Lawrence ahead of us and he is on the hard tires as well. So that hopefully... About 40%. And he is on around 40% as you could hear Ty say there. Um, so we have an advantage on both tires and ERS. Uh, so we should be able to get past him as well as you can see. Just gonna try and get as close as possible. And then on the exit of this corner, we're gonna use our battery and gonna go down the inside. And that's us up to P8 there. So uh, we are working our way up. Uh, and considering we started P16, I think we're doing a pretty good job here. Now in lap 29, it's Shanika battling with Ismail Fasi, who's also on the Ismail hard tires. And now you can also see Shanika is starting, uh, is flashing right now. And I was quite surprised with that, as we are still very high in ERS. Uh, so now we should be able to get past him as well, even though he was, uh, he's on the same uh, tires, they're as fresh. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to get down here, so we make a little bit of contact there. I think I went a bit too wide on entry. Um, luckily didn't spun around or anything uh, but now straight away gonna go on the attack on uh, Ismail Fassi as well and now he was defending the inside so that gives us an opportunity to get a better exit there and now again gonna go on the attack he's defending the inside we're gonna try go around the outside into this first left hander and we're actually making it stick here <coughs> sorry so that's us up to P6 um, and now it's just Tom Melly Alfro and then it's Barry Thomas and Jarno on mediums. So now in lap 33, again we're gonna try and get close and now we're gonna go down the side very late and almost make the contact there, I was actually quite close. Uh, but we make the move stick here down the side and up to P5 we go. So 
we went from P16 to P5 in this race so far. And now you can see up ahead, cars are battling quite hard. They're going three wide into turn three. That's not really a thing, not really possible. And now Jarno is going off the track and he went from, I think, P1 to P4 here. So he lost quite a bit of time. But Jarno also went into the pits one lap earlier than us. And now he hit the back of Alvaro. So we are getting very close here. Now we're also using a battery and maybe uh, making a move on him now. Trying to go for a switchback here, but couldn't really get it alongside. And also have to be quite careful because uh, I was already quite happy with the P5 here yeah, so far. Run up all the cars. What's the yours? About 80%. Okay. And now you could hit that say that Jarni is on around 80% ERS, so still he has still a lot to play with. Um, and we were a bit lower, so uh, I thought it was better to just let him make some moves and maybe if they cause some carnage um, I can take advantage of that uh, and now you can see cars behind four tens back so we should be safe from them uh, still going slightly defensive in order someone really wants to send it um, and now you can see cars ahead are fighting and as you can see they're going uh, at the same time to the left here <laughs> it looks quite nice but anyway Jarno's trying to keep it around the outside, but Alvaro keeps his position there. And uh, it's still Barry and Thomas battling very hard. And now Jarno's gonna go try and go around the outside with switchback still. And then they're keeping it down. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Keeping it down the inside. Now we're gonna try and <coughs> go around the outside in this right hand there. Um, but yeah, not really possible to keep it around the outside uh, in these final two corners so we're just yeah, uh, gonna it. enjoy our p5 here it was a very good race <laughs> from p16 <laughs> to p5 oy and oy oy obviously oy. we can remove the penalty oh my um, what a what a race so yeah man. very happy with this race with this performance hey, yeah. uh, especially uh, because we Woo. didn't score any points on the last it was um, kind of clean three races <laughs> So yeah, well, it was, uh, it was a good performance again, I think. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I won't be racing next week because I'm going to uh, you see it? the Aston Martin car Should review. Be right. So I'm going to enjoy that. Yep. So hopefully okay. I will be back in two weeks. And then I'll see you guys then.